Hello, Mike Patton here, Park Development Specialist for the City of Sioux Falls. I'm here today with Tori Miedema, Park Development Specialist also, and we're here to give you an update on some ongoing construction projects we have here in the parks. We're right here at the Kirby Dog Park at Fort Sod in downtown Sioux Falls, and as you can see, construction is well underway. Right now, we're in the process of building the fence that will enclose the dog parks, as well as the uh, concrete surfacing that's being constructed as we speak. Constructing a dog park in downtown Sioux Falls is something that's been on our radar for, for quite some time. As you know, uh, more residents come to downtown every year, and a lot of them have pets and require a facility like this. This particular location was chosen for its central location in downtown, uh, so anybody living on the south side or the north side can equally access this park. Uh, an exciting part of this park is it's being 100% constructed with private donations. Uh, Joe and Jennifer Kirby uh, were gracious enough to donate 100% of the project costs involved. So the design of this park was really detailed. Uh, we wanted it to be site specific knowing that it's located in downtown with, with uh, considerable traffic on two sides of the park in the downtown environment. You know, we looked into the environmental impacts involved with the process and it wanted the site to be secure. You know, we didn't want uh, dogs being able to run out into traffic, so we looked into double gated entrances. We also know that it's a hot site. It's surrounded, uh, you know, by the urban fabric. And so instead of using grass, we went with artificial turf. This will be our first park uh, that incorporates artificial turf into the design. And we think it'll be um, a good end product for the user. Well, we started construction on the project early this spring. Visions Construction is the contractor uh, doing the work. Right now we're, we're nearing completion with about three weeks left to go. Uh, the project is scheduled for completion here in mid-August and we're, look, we're tracking towards that deadline. With that, I'll turn it over to Tori Miedema who's going to give you an update on some other projects we have going on. Thanks, Mike. Uh, just wanted to talk about a couple of projects that we've been getting a lot of phone calls about. Uh, First one I'd like to talk about is the bridge replacements that we have. Uh, two locations, uh, one is at Dunham Park, uh, as you take the bike trail into the park, and then the second one is over at the Sertoma Outdoor Campus. Uh, both of these bridges were shut down after the floods in 2019 due to damage from the ice blocks and from overturning with water. What we're looking at is to award the project here at the end of July, first part of August, then we'd go right into manufacturing of the bridges. Uh, that'll take roughly about four to six months. But in the meantime, what you'll see out there is a contractor out there putting new abutments in and preparing the site for the bridges. We're looking to see the bridges come in about January, February of next year. They'll be set in the wintertime, open back up, and then uh, when the asphalt plants open up uh, in the spring, we'll uh, finish the site and open those back up to the public. As I mentioned before, we've been working with FEMA and the good news is that we'll be getting 85% of the project costs reimbursed um, because of the, the flood declaration. Uh, the second project I wanted to talk about was the bike trail extension in the Cherry Creek Trail Corridor. Uh, right now, the bike trail ends uh, underneath 12th Street uh, just by Legacy Park which is right by 12th and Sertoma in Northwest Sioux Falls. What we'll be looking at doing is extending that trail, uh, going along Skunk Creek and along Cherry Creek uh, Corridor, uh, bringing that from 12th Street up and into Family Park and then make a neighborhood connection into uh, off of Songbird Street. Um, right now we're working with the landowners to get the land that we need to build the trail uh, hopefully we wrap that up by the end of the year and jump right into design. Um, we'll be putting the design on a fast track and we'll be looking at trying to uh, start construction on, uh, on the trail corridor in uh, late 2021. Eventually this trail will go all the way, uh, head all the way northwest up into University Center uh, following Cherry Creek. Long anticipated uh, trail extension and it'll uh, eventually make a nice northwestern trail loop uh, for the Sioux Falls residents in that area. 